and Bill, you so damn sexy. One, two, three. In 2020, Shamar Moore treated himself to a residential upgrade buying an ultra modern villa in Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles. It cost the actor $5.8 million and the home spans 9,000 square feet with features like top of the line security, a poolside pavilion, and more. Prior to this, Shamar was living in a Mediterranean style mansion nearby in Encino, which he sold at a loss last year as well. Today, we'll take a look at where he calls home. We even found the listing. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Shamar Moore is an actor and former fashion model best known for his starring roles on series like CBS's Criminal Minds, SWAT, and The Young and the Restless. At the time of this recording, the fan favorite has been paid well throughout his acting career, so far amassing an estimated net worth of $22 million or more. It's no wonder that Shamar could handle the slight loss when he sold his former Encino villa and still cash in on a newer mansion that's more than double the size. Hey everyone, I'm Care the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out where actor Shamar Moore calls home. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Just last year, Shamar treated himself to a brand new mansion located in the suburban Sherman Oaks neighborhood of LA and dropped $5.8 million on it. Sherman Oaks is definitely an area gaining more popularity with celebrities these days, and Shamar's new pad is super private as well and hidden behind electronic gates on a posh tree lined street. The ultra modern villa was newly built and set up with a state of the art home automation system as well as fancy security features. The lot spans over half an acre of land, while in Inside the mansion covers over 9,000 square feet of space made up of concrete, wood, and smoked glass. Shamar's estate boasts seven bedrooms, seven full baths, and two half baths, while there's a bonus poolside pavilion with two bedrooms as well. Walking in the front door, there's a huge open space with soaring ceilings and a grand living area in the distance. The foyer boasts hardwood floors, fresh white walls, and a grand staircase with glass railing. To one side, there's also a small office perfect for getting some work done and a stunning glass-walled courtyard fitted with walls of sliders for easy access. I love a cute courtyard. Under the stairs, there's a piano on display and beside it, you'll find a professional bar with glass-enclosed wine cabinet. Also nearby is the formal dining room with space to entertain and finally, the grand living room. At the time of purchase, the living room was furnished with a white sectional and mounted TV on a black quartz accent wall with built-in modern fireplace and the room also flows out to the yard via floor-to-ceiling glass door. Doors. The open concept space also attaches the modern kitchen, which is full of clean lines and fancy appliances. Shamar can cook up a storm here as the colossal space has not one but two large islands, one topped with wood and one with white marble. The wooden one also has snack bar style seating and beside it you'll find a fridge that's built for a giant. The main level is complete with a home movie theater that boasts fabric upholstered walls and a snack counter with beverage fridge. Should Shamar need to watch himself on the big screen, this is the perfect space to do so. His mansion offers a handful of bedrooms and that includes two master suites. One is on the main level and opens right to the yard, also with a fireplace, giant walk-in closet, and fancy ensuite that leads out to a secret interior courtyard. If you want to relax in private, the courtyard even has a fire pit in the center. Upstairs on the same floor as the guest suites, Shamar has another master retreat option, and this one boasts doors out to a party-sized terrace, as well as a spa-style master bath decked out in gray quartz. Which one of the master suites would you choose? They're both impressive, but I gotta say, I'm sold on the main floor one because I love that secret courtyard yard and the built-ins in the walk-in closet. Upstairs, there's also a bonus family room with wet bar that opens up to the terrace. Outside the grounds of Shamar's home boast plenty of amenities, including a large dining and lounging patio which is covered, offering an outdoor fireplace, kitchen, and a barbecue and bar. There's more than one fire pit back here as well as a basketball court, putting green, and of course, the pool. Shamar can take a dip in his chic infinity edged pool and spa that's decked out in black tiles or visit the pool house that seems to have a games room and even 
a spa. Recently, Shamar showed off his mansion to People magazine and explained how he showed his mother the home right before her passing. He wanted to outfit the place with things that kept her memory alive as well, explaining, My house is beautiful, but it's empty without her. There's always going to be that void, but I'm doing my best to make it me, to make it my mother's son's home. And it looks like he's done that. We can see that since moving in, Shamar transformed the nearly all-white mansion to a place full of personal artwork and plenty of color. He repainted ceilings and walls to add warmth, including a dark red accent wall in the entryway and touches like brown leather seats at the main bar. Shamar also added plenty of photos with his mother, as well as cards, and even carpeted a room in turquoise, which was her favorite color. In summer 2020, Shamar let go of his previous home for $2.4 million, which was at a loss considering he purchased it way back in 2007 for $2.5 million. His former longtime home was located in Encino, Los Angeles, and while it was built in 1963, it had been extensively updated during the time Shamar lived here. The yellow Spanish style abode sat on a corner lot boasting over half an acre of land and inside featured dark wood floors, high ceilings, and a new kitchen. Shamar's former home was in an upscale Encino enclave and inside spent over 3,600 square feet with four or five bedrooms and 4.5 baths. The welcoming front entrance had its own custom-built waterfall and a fancy courtyard which then led to the foyer. The dramatic two-story entryway opened up to the living room and offered a wrought iron railed staircase to the upper level. The living room also had sparkling dark hardwood floors and a stone fireplace as the nearby formal dining room had French doors out to the terrace. A wide arch leads to the gourmet kitchen that Shamar decked out with new high-end designer appliances, a center island, and six burner stove. Then there's also an airy family room, which was technically a fifth bedroom, boasting wood-beamed double-height ceilings and more doors to outside. The guest bedrooms joined Shamar's former master retreat on the upper level, which was super impressive, made up of a massive bedroom with a fireplace, a separate home office, two balconies, and a custom fit walk-in closet. If that's not enough, there was also a stone tiled ensuite bath with jetted tub. The inside of Shamar's former abode was gorgeous and so was the outside. The L-shaped home had two wings which helped form the exterior landscape and backyard setup which was designed for outdoor living and entertaining. High walls made the grounds of the home super private and secure and there was a stone terrace, fire pit, freestanding sauna and of course a pebble tech pool and spa. Shamar also completed the resort style backyard by adding a full sound and security system. Shamar first listed his Encino home months prior for over 2.5 million dollars so we didn't lose any money on it but then he had to cut the price by 100k around April 2020. Now that we've taken a look at where Shamar Moore calls home I think that wraps it up for this house tour. Not only did we see the ultra modern mega mansion he moved into last year for 5.8 million dollars but we also checked out his longtime home in Encino he sold around the same time. It's hard to believe his former Encino home was only a fraction of the size of his new home. They both seemed so impressive and grand in my opinion. Out of the two properties, which could you see yourself living in? Honestly, his new home is stunning but was a bit too modern for me when he moved in. I much prefer the new color scheme Shamar added to make the place cozier. And out of all the features in his current mansion, which were your must-haves? I don't know if two master suites are necessary but it couldn't hurt. I love the pool and the pool house out back as well as the ground floor master suite and the hidden courtyards. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna shout some of you guys out. This was from our recent George Michael house tour. Velda Sorrentino wrote, RIP George Michael, love his music and love that Santa Barbara home. I love that house too and I found it had some similarities with the Sydney home and they were both awesome. And on our Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats house tour, Mother Knows said, Inspiring couple, talented humans, exquisite taste, gorgeous home, much love. I totally agree, that Phoenix house was my favorite. I love reading your comments so keep them coming and don't forget to tell me your thoughts on Shamar's homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching, go ahead and follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!